So now we are talking about the site map. Site map is nothing but a kind of list. Under every area, there are certain tasks or reports based on your access you can explore. For example, under benefit because this is an implementer account, so this person can see so much data. But in reality, a person or an employee would see a limited data only. But they would not see each and everything. It's an implementer profile. It's a consultant profile. That's why this person is able to see a lot of other things, which a normal user would never be able to see under sitemap. But just FYI, sitemap is a place where it shows all of the available report and tasks for which you have access in the system based on the security profile. So if I have the access to create supply invoices, under supply invoices or supplier section, I would see supply invoice tasks or supply related reports. I can see customer accounts here. So customer accounts, I can do this task. Reports are this, task is this, which I can access based on my security profile. Clear on this? Right now, just understand this as a list, which you have access in the system, in simple words. Okay. Now let's talk about favorites. Just like your Insta or any other e-commerce platform, you add certain items to your favorite, which you can go to later on and can explore. Let me give you an example here. For example, if I go to my favorites here, I can see the existing favorites I have in the system. Okay, why we would keep certain items as favorites? Suppose I am an employee who has been assigned a task or my job profile is to create customer invoices on a daily basis. And as part of that role, I need to see a certain customer also to see, okay, what are the invoices for that customer, how many have been paid by the customer, how many are not paid, how many are in customer contract or issued, like, like that. It can be anything. So if I have a certain task or certain business object, which I'll talk about uh, later on, that I visit frequently or I need access as part of my day-to-day -day job, then I can mark those business objects and instances or reports, you can call it, as my favorites. And whenever I want, I can come to this section here and I can review them. So right now you see there are some favorite business objects here like 9688, one company here, consult trial balance. Then if I look at the custom report, which have been marked as favorite. So these are my favorite custom reports like that. Clear? Let me show you how to add certain items as your favorites. So let's find a company called Lembo. This is an existing company. If I go to Lambo Supercars, this is the company. If I want to mark this as my favorite, this three dots that we'll be frequently using in, during this our course, we call it as a three dots or related action button. Okay. Either you can call it as a three dots, this orange color box here. Either you can call it as a three dots or related action. I call it as a related action button from which you can do many other things from a single click. So we'll talk about that as and when we get more experience and learning from work beside. But for now, understand that this is called a three dot or related action button here. Now to add that, go to the favorite here, click on add. And again, don't worry because whatever I'm covering right now, it's already described in the PDF file, how to do this. Everything, your inbox, your notification, your search bar, your homepage, everything has been confirmed over there. So I'll just hit okay here. Now if I go back to my favorites, I should see that company there. Okay, earlier there were only three items under business object. Now there are four. And this Lambo Supercars, which I had added as my favorite, is appearing up here now. Clear? Yes, clear. Yes. Okay. Now 
drive. Okay, drive is a place where you can share some documents internally in this tenant with other employees also. For example, share with me. Okay, if any file within this tenant, again, I'm telling you, not a different, <coughs> your local drive, laptop drive or nothing like that. Within this tenant, what documents are shared with you that you can get access from here. And if you drive, you will see you are the owner of these documents and access is only me. You have not given this access to anyone else. So it's more of like sharing documents internally with other employees within the same tenant and company. Now the point is why you would do that. Okay. Certain items, for example, you don't want to send through email. You want to just upload it here on workday tenant and you just want to notify the user that, Hey, this document is available. Can you please review it or download this and then do your work, whatever X, Y, Z. You can create your own documents here by clicking on this plus here. Then go to discovery board here, folder, upload, you can upload documents here. like for example, upload here. And if I want to upload something, you can see that uploading failure report. Okay. So it's for me to later on go and review this data or share this with someone else. If I want to share this, right click on this and you can see there are a lot of options here. You can make a copy. You can download, you can remove this info, move. Okay. You can share it with some other person also. So let's share it. That's how you'll see also. So we'll type the name called Teresa Serrano. Okay. At the moment I just type a few keywords of her name. The name has appeared up here. And I just type my message. Can you please? Yes. Okay. What kind of access can view or edit or can edit that access share. Now, once it is done, login as Teresa Serrano. So there is something called uh, proxy in Workday. Now, what is a proxy? And it only works in the test environment only. It never works in the production tenant or live tenant. It only works in your test environment where you are testing something. Okay. Keep in mind, sometimes people do ask in, in interviews to freshers, not to an experienced guy, obviously, to freshers that does proxy or login as a different profile works in production also. No. It only works in your sandbox or your implementation tenant or your preview tenant, but not in your production. Clear with that? Can you come again? Yes, Shri. You are asking something, Shri? Yeah, yeah. Proxy. You just uh, discussed about proxy. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just show you how to do a proxy as a different employee. Mm. And it can be again only done in your practice tenant or implementation tenant as we call it. So I'll log in as Teresa Serrano because I have shared that file with Teresa Serrano. Now I'll go to her drive. Where is that? See, these people do so many testings RD here, but let's see if that has got a notification. Yeah, see, Manisha Kumari shared the file failure report with you. So, if I click on this view file, okay, this is how I can download this. After if this file isn't supported in Workday Drive, you can download this file. And that's how you can share the documents internally. Okay. Once you start the proxy, 
you have to stop the proxy also so other people work can be saved and executed what will happen here is suppose i don't stop the proxy and i just log out i just click on this x icon here and i close the tenant so suppose the other person who is working like teresa serrano if she is working on some task or report and if she will try to hit submit that will not get executed or saved it's better when you start the proxy once your work is done you stop the proxy so simply type the stop proxy that person can continue with his or her work this is only when we are test doing the testing right only that time yes Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Go back. Let's do my reports. Okay. My report is a section or is a page where reports which takes a lot of time to run will appear here. Let me give an example. You ran the financial accounting general data for a company for last five years, for three years or two years. Then system takes some time to process that information. Sometimes it takes half an hour also, one hour also. So instead of waiting for the data to come, because it's a huge data, right? Or maybe that report is very heavy, which pulls a lot of calculated fields, a lot of other business objects, data, and so on. So in that case, Workday tells you that notify me later, which we'll see also later on once you start hitting practice and doing different configurations. Workday will tell you for certain reports that notify me later means once the data is available, based on my parameters which I have given here, notify me. So those reports will come up here. That will get notified here also in the bell icon. It will tell you that report is available now, and. You can also come to your profile here, and you can go to my reports, and then you can download or view those reports from here also. So again, those reports which you have executed took a long of time, longer period of time to run. Those reports will come up here, and then you can later on download or view them. Clear on this my report section? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So does it have a longevity, like till when this report can stay or what? Normally, that doesn't get deleted. I I don't see any policy right now, which tells that okay after a week it will get deleted or so on. But I can check with work. Like let let's say I just uh, like in terms of like the way you said someone ran the report for you know for general entries passed for five years or two years or three years. Let's assume in one company there are like you know lot of entries being passed. So mm -hmm. what happens like if there are uh, you know someone ran a report for one year, and the very next day he needed a report for two years. So mm -hmm. all these reports will get uh, saved in the queue or uh, like the, does it have a time period? You when have to run can... that report again. Suppose you ran. So you were saying if I run the report, then it will get. Uh, what you say how do you say it in english ah yes so, it will actually save time. hota hai right it overrides itself ah, ha, ha. the previous report that that is what you mean right no it will not override let me give an example here okay okay let's clear the confusion here Say okay. I am giving a very uh, back dated range just to show the example. If I hit OK now, uh, there are only eight invoices. Okay, suppose there are like eight thousand invoices. The system would have told you that you ran the report for GMS USA invoices are. 
first of January 2014. And that may have 10,000 invoices. The system would have a prompt, a small orange color window that notify me later. And I would have clicked that. It would have asked me to save the data in a report, like give it a name, in which name, naming convention you want to uh, see it later on. I can give it a name for data a name that, okay, this data for 2014 till today's date, something like that, right? I'm just making it up. Mm -hmm. So that will come up here later on. You go to report, okay. that data will come up here. Okay, in the my report, I got your point because you are naming the report yourself, so it will stay in the queue as to like forever until unless you overwrite it or you delete yes. it. And I can see, I can delete this also. Okay. Okay. Yes, got your point here. Yeah. Here? Yep. Okay. Now. Let's come back to our home page. Let's talk about two different options also. Now, there are two more options here. Documentations and help. Basically, these are linked for your community access. I just click on this here. Okay, so it will ask you to log into your community account, which you don't have access to. If you have the access, you can go to community from here also. So Bhagdai community is a page or is a link where all of the consultants and employees log in and they can ask for their solutions. Okay, if I have any uh, specific requirement which I'm not able to achieve, if there's a specific report which I want to build but I'm not able to build, okay, those kind of things I can do from here, from community. What's going on here? So it is not company specific but workday specific. You are saying? Yes, it's like a uh, what do you call a Facebook, a Facebook of workday. Acha. Yes or partner firms, consultants, customers, employee, that kind so of don't, thing. So don't we have a security threat over here that, you know, people from other companies, other communities are meeting up here, they can so share. It's a common things. place. It's a common place where, okay. like, it's a discussion point or discussion page where Workday releases a lot of documents, okay, notes. You can ask questions. There are many forums. There are many groups, kind of uh, pages there, which you can join and subscribe. And anytime anybody posts a question or a solution, you can go through it and enhance your knowledge. Okay. 